went hunting last night, fatigued in a humble robe. Long range rifle pressed against my shoulder on a fucking Hubble scope. Tonight I'm killing anything in here in need of dead and sea, cause last night I threw my ego tried to put tried to put an end to me. I used fame as bait. I place it in the field where I plant my dreams. To grow and await ghosts who play games with my life to go up in their limousines. There are stars in my persona, celebrities in my scenes, darkest parts of my process, much like the bitch dreams. I've got a shopping list of heads I want to bleed and bury where they pop up. On their body, my image and my misogyny, my ego and my hypocrisy. Tonight there ain't no stopping me. So they already did too much to just come fix it with apologies. And I must admit, I'm scared shitless to hunt the parts of me I fear inside my heart. And I'm just noticing how dark it gets in here. But never mind, I am focused. Pieces low to keep the plan. If I don't blow this, I might have some hope of being a decent man. From a hiding spot, I just repeat my chant. Here I am. Like a hunt in my heart, with the marks to make it. I need my parts that would just quit in the dark and lock the target on my ego. I'm hunting for my ego. I'm taking on my ego because I blame it on my ego. So from my darkest parts comes misogyny first. He walks like a pimp. Chin up, dick in hand, one leg short gives him his limp. He spots fame in the field. To him, this means hose. I see the thoughts of getting women creeping right up in his nose. Put his temple in his cross in the crosshairs, but before I got him center, I hear someone else coming, so I wait in the dark to see who enters. It's my image. Young son, so confused. Frankenstein. Low brim, no book, walking noise, spit a rhyme, spit a poem, spit some game, spit whatever you want to hear. And until I know myself, I guess I'll always look unclear. He and massage me, lock eyes, look down at fame with hungry bellies. Their mouths are salivating. I guess my ego has to make itself known when it arrives. Making eyes curve, so in my scope I observe. Feeling angry because my ego's position is so undeserved. I push the brace against my shoulder, run the trigger, my finger curves. I got you, motherfucker, and I think it's like to prepare my nerves. The bullet's eager in the chamber, just waiting for the word, but as I'm about to pull the trigger, I see that my ego's a hurt. I wasn't ready for it, so I'm ruining it, my thing. But I think all the times so she needs a question, self esteem. It makes sense that she be female. As a man, ego often equates consequences from that detail. Can't seem weak in front of a woman, their sex is our initiation into men, so it only makes sense that my ego stems from a woman's expectation. The three of them started fighting me. My image pushing misogyny on and told me that I'd stay out of the ring. My, my ego starts in front of them saying, but misogyny is how you survive. <coughs> misogyny pushes ego yelling, bitch, learn your place on which you're both derived from. And I'm wondering to myself why my heart gives an asylum. My crosshairs have crossed each other, I can't focus when I'm slammed. And they all look so familiar like they all got some relation, but I've been hesitating too long. I really should be more careful. And suddenly it feels like I'm not behind me against my head up a little barrel. Fuck. Oh, I didn't even need to turn around to know who got the drop on me. It was the only thing that would ever shoot itself. My very own hypocrisy. He whispers in my ear, you shoot any of them and you won't survive. That humble shit won't keep you safe when other people's egos are hunting you outside. And when some girl rejects you, how are you going to keep that pride? If misogyny don't write her off as just some bitch for you, and image don't help you up back to your stride. And my heart is getting smaller and darker by the minute. So the walls are pushing me closer to image, an image closer to ego. And ego creeps close to misogyny. And if they get me, there'll be no chance of maintaining my honesty. Hypocrisy suddenly pushes me out of the grapevine into the light for some hang time. To my darkest parts, and they stop fighting, and they spot me at the same time. I'm surrounded, but they don't even flinch. And it makes sense because they can't see me. When they come out of me, this me doesn't even exist. And I can't move. Punching anyone would be a bit egotistic. And if I could, to punch my ego first would then be misogyny, would then be misogynistic. Thus making me quite the hypocrite, at least in regards to my image. So I stand there like a scarecrow wondering how this will finish. Hypocrisy keeps the gun on me as they retreat. One by one they vanish, but this won't be the last we meet. They keep me down when I am down. Their company is sweet, but Pop said who you are in life reflects the company you keep. So I creep, load my rifle with the hope that I'm worth redeeming, and point it at anything I see in me that should be leaking. Because if you leave them there too long, eventually you will just be them. But look inside yourself and ask if it's hunting season, but you're still true. Because eventually you will lose, so search inside your heart and shoot down the